Hi there, I hope you've been well. Uh, today's sequence is about momentum. We tend to use momentum in a normally given uh, yoga sequence, so that's kind of what we're going to play around with today, but we're noticing the momentum. So what we'll really need is two blocks and maybe a blanket if you like to sit on blankets, and I think that's about it. So make your way down onto your back <clears throat> with your knees bent and your feet on the floor. And that's where we'll get started. Just kind of allowing ourselves to center. Take a close with your eyes or a soft gaze and just allow yourself to feel the environment around you. Feel the earth underneath of you. Feel the walls to either side of you. The walls above your head and below your feet. And notice all of this just in position to where you're at. To knowing where you're at, whether your eyes are closed or you have a soft gaze and you're not necessarily focused on the distance, just allow yourself to kind of feel them, whether it's based off of memory, your last few moments of experience. And notice how you feel in this moment. Notice anything in the body that is calling out for your attention. Notice what it's saying. Notice how you're emotionally feeling in this moment. And noticing all of this internally with a bit of grace and tenderness for everything that you meet here. And then start to tune your attention to your breath. Notice its natural movement, its natural pace and depth. And then start to increase the length of your inhale and the depth of your exhale. And as you start to regulate and control your breath, Ask yourself, what does momentum mean to me? What does it look like in my life? And then when you're ready, go ahead and blink open your eyes. Reach your arms up above your head and your feet down below you for a first of the morning stretch, finding any wiggles or stretches or pauses that feel good to you and your body in this moment. And then come back to your constructive rest pose with your knees bent and feet on the floor. Go ahead and bring the right knee in towards the chest. We'll start off with a bit of a hip uh, warm up. So knee into chest, you can hold it wherever it feels comfortable. Go ahead and uh, slide the knee from side to side. Maybe roll the ankle here. And then bring the right ankle to the left knee for your figure four. Pause here, pressing the right knee away, right toes back towards the right knee, and just take a few breaths. Check in with the shoulders. Notice that they're soft and heavy or if they're holding on to some tension from holding the leg. And then go ahead and lift the left foot away from the mat if that feels comfortable for you. You can always keep it on the floor. And just take a moment to breathe into the right hip no matter what choice you made. Right, and then when you're ready, we'll come back to our starting position. Right foot comes back down, left knee comes into the chest and pull it in. Rock it from side to side, any of the ankle roll stuff. Pauses that feel nice. 
and then go ahead and bring the left ankle to the right knee. We'll pause here, press the left knee away, left toes back towards the left knee. You can pause here, stay still, or you can lift the right foot away from the mat. The choice is yours. And I want you to notice as we're playing around with choices and whatever you decide, playing around with the stillness or a little bit of movement here, noticing the momentum that we have in this moment as we're slowly getting started. And noticing the points in which we're finding momentum. It's normally not in the stationary poses or asana of yoga. It's typically in the transitions. Go ahead and come back to your starting position with the left foot back on the floor. Bring the knees in towards the chest, both of them this time, and give yourself a rock from side to side. We'll come back to center hands on top of the knees. You're going to press the knees away from you so the arms are straight out. Draw a little bit of a circle on the ceiling. It can be small and subtle circles or large and exaggerated ones. You can take it in both directions whenever you're ready for it. Feel free to pause at any point. Again, since we're moving, noticing the momentum here. Do you tend to go fast? Do you tend to go slow? Notice either one, neither is right or wrong. Go ahead and come back to center. <clears throat> and you're gonna press into the knees and the knees back into the hands and just notice what that turns on. Take a moment to check in with the shoulders to make sure they're not overly helping with the pressing down here. They're a little soft and heavy down into the earth. And then we're going to find something super subtle and you're going to tuck the tail and then you're going to tilt the pelvis. And we're going to continue moving back and forth there, just tilting and tucking the pelvis. You might notice a little bit of activation here in the core, kind of sneaky. And continue moving, maybe connecting the breath here, inhaling to come into our uh, tilt, exhale to come into the tuck. When you start to feel the warmth in the core, go ahead and bring the knees in towards the chest, take an inhale, drop the knees over to the right, reach the left fingertips towards the left, allow the left shoulder to be soft and heavy. Take a moment to smooth out the breath. Go ahead and come back up to center. We'll take an inhale. Drop the knees over to the left. Reach the right fingertips towards the right and shift and gaze beyond the right fingertips. right shoulder, allow it to be soft and heavy. Is your breath accessible in this moment? Notice the slow of the momentum. Go ahead and come back up to center and you can set the feet back onto the ground and grab a hold of one of your blocks. <clears throat> Reach your block up towards the sky and you're going to press into the block. And you're going to bring both knees in towards the chest and try to hold them there as you're going to start to make a small rocking motion moving along the spine. So it might be a super small to start off with. Engaging the core a little bit here, kind of like a little bit of a corset. Continue rocking forward and backward, pressing into the block, maintaining that action as you rock all the way up to a seated position. Set the feet down wherever. And then you're going to pull the block apart. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to lower back, super slow if you like, always moving at your pace, pulling the block apart. 
finding that same rock and roll here along the spine. You can pause whenever it feels like you're done with the rocking. And then when you're done, go ahead and pause, come back up. You can set the block down and then you can meet me in table pose. Fingers fanned out nice and wide. We're gonna take our cat-cow super slow today. So before we get into our cat-cow, I want you to press down into the hands, the whole of the hand, so the weight is evenly distributed between both sides, the center, the fingers are activated, the fingertips are activated, and start to allow that activation to draw up into the forearm. So a slight activation of everything here. A slight activation of the biceps, the triceps, the shoulders. Maybe you start pressing down into the shins and the top of the feet or the toes if the toes are tucked, wherever you like. Start to draw that activation up into the thighs and the glutes and the belly, the back muscles. So you have a global tension in the body here. We're gonna start off super slow, starting with the pelvis. So we're going to find the tilt, finding still all of this activation in the body, allowing the cow pose to come from the pelvis. Super, super slow, super tilting the pelvis slowly allowing the movement to travel up into the rest of the spine, trying not to move the shoulders to allow yourself to come into a more of a cow pose. Allow the head to be the last thing that lifts. We'll exhale, allow the movement to come from the pelvis. That global tension is still in the body. Super, super slow, the flexing of the spine is traveling up through the mid spine, the upper spine, the cervical spine in our neck. The last thing that comes down is the head, the chin tucking towards the chest. We'll do that one more time. We'll inhale, tilt the pelvis. The extension of the spine travels up through the mid spine, the upper spine, the cervical spine, and eventually up into the head. Last one, we'll tuck the pelvis. The flexion of the spine travels up into the mid, the upper, the head. We'll tilt, allowing the extension of the spine to travel up and up and up until it comes into the crown. All right, we'll do this two more times, except we're gonna start with the head next. So we're going to exhale, drop the chin towards the chest, still holding on to that global stabilization in the body, allowing the movement to travel down from the head down into the upper back, the mid back, the lower back, and lastly, the tail. We'll inhale to lift the head. That extension travels down into the cervical spine the upper spine, the middle spine, lower spine, and lastly, the pelvis. Last time, or last round, I should see, exhale, we'll drop the head. We'll allow the movement to travel down into the upper, the middle, the lower, and the pelvis. We'll inhale to lift the head. Allow the extension to come slowly down into the spine. The last thing to come up is the pelvis. And then we're going to speed this up a little bit. So we'll inhale, release the global tint, uh, uh, global stabilization. We'll exhale, press all the way back to a child's pose. We'll do this three more times. We'll inhale, pull ourselves forward. Exhale, press yourself back. Inhale, pull yourself forward into your cow. Exhale, press yourself back into your child's pose. Last one, we'll inhale to pull ourselves up. Exhale to press yourself back. Take a moment to pause. Walk your hands through center and all the way over to the left. And take a breath and 
sends it into that left side body. Walk your hands through center and take it all the way over to the left. Take a nice big round of breath and send it into the right side body. And when you're ready, walk through center. Take a nice big round of breath here. When you're ready, go ahead and come back up to table. Press down into the pointer finger knuckle pads, tuck the toes and lift the hips up and back into your first down dog. Take a nice big round of breath here. We'll do our version of vinyasa. At the bottom of your exhale, you'll bring the knees down to the mat. We'll inhale into our cow. Exhale, hips to heels in your child's pose. Inhale, you'll pull yourself forward for your plank. Exhale, back to down dog. From here, we're gonna do two Surya Namaskar Bs to get our whole bodies warmed up. So when you're ready, we'll take an inhale here. Exhale to step the right foot forward for our high, uh, low lunge. We'll press all the way up for our high lunge, fingertips reach up. Exhale into your warrior two. We'll inhale into our peaceful warrior. Exhale to down dog. You're exhaling, you're exhaling, you're exhaling. Nice big round of breath here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, we'll step the left foot forward for your low lunge. We'll inhale up to our high lunge. Notice the momentum. We'll exhale to our warrior two. Inhale into your peaceful warrior. Exhale to down dog. We're exhaling. We're exhaling. We're exhaling. Nice big round of reset breath here. We'll next inhale the right heel to the sky. Exhale to step the right foot forward for your low lunge. Bring the back knee down. Release the back toes. We'll inhale to look forward. Exhale to press back into our half Hanuman. Lift the ball of that front foot and straighten inch forward. We'll exhale to press back. We'll inhale to come forward. We'll exhale to press back. Go ahead and pause here. Press the heel down. Toes back towards the heart. Take a breath. Bend into the knee. Left hand stays as you reach the right fingertips forward with your inhale. Continue inhaling to reach it towards the sky. Maybe you start to exhale, reaching it back towards the back of the mat and down towards the earth. Right hand comes down, back toes tuck. We'll lift up into our low lunge. We'll inhale to look forward. Exhale to step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, come up for that half lift. Exhale and fold. Bend into the knees. Press the floor away as you rise all the way up to standing. Fingertips may float out to the sides and meet up at the top. Exhale, we'll swan dive forward into our forward fold. Inhale, we'll lift up to our half lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Fingertips come on either side of your feet. Gently walk yourself back to your down dog. Take a nice big round of breath. We'll inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale to step it forward for our low lunge. We'll bring the back knee down. We'll inhale to look forward. Exhale to press back. We'll inhale to come forward. Exhale to press back. We'll inhale to come forward. Exhale to press back. Go ahead and press the heel down, toes back towards the heart. And just take a moment to notice the change in momentum while we're flowing, while we're moving and breathing. And allow yourself to notice the pause here. Does the change in momentum affect your breath? When we're moving, is it coordinated with our movement? There is no right or wrong answer. Go ahead and bend into that left knee Right hand stays, right finger, the left fingertips reach forward, up, exhaling back and down. 
left hand comes down, we'll tuck the back toes, lift up into our low lunge, we'll inhale to look forward. Exhale to step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, come up for that half lift. Exhale and fold, bend into the knees, press the floor away as you rise all the way up to standing, palms meet up at the top. Exhale, swan dive forward into your forward fold. We'll inhale to lift to half lift. Exhale to fold. Fingertips down, go ahead and walk your feet back to down dog. Take a nice big round of breath here. At the bottom of your exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. We'll inhale into our cow. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, you'll pull yourself forward to your plank. Exhale, back to down dog. We'll inhale the right heel to the sky. We'll exhale to step the right foot forward for our low lunge. You're gonna use momentum, press down into the feet. We're gonna spin the back heel down and we're gonna open into our warrior one. And as we're using momentum, you're gonna keep the arms going right fingertips reach back and back towards the back of the left hip or the or we'll edit this out and find it okay step the right foot forward we're gonna spin the back heel down and we're gonna open to our warrior one keep your hands going you can pause with the left right fingertips are gonna reach back behind you and out towards the outside of the left hip. So maybe it doesn't really go anywhere, it's back here looking awkward, which is totally fine. We're gonna exhale to bring the left hand down, spin the back heel up, left hand comes down to a block or just down to the mat, right fingertips reach up towards the sky, take a breath. Exhale, we'll bring the right hand down. We're gonna step the right foot back into your down dog. Take a nice big round of reset breath. At the bottom of your exhale, bring the knees down. We'll inhale into our cow. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, you'll pull yourself forward for a plank. Exhale, back to down dog. We'll inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale to step it forward for our low lunge. Spin the back heel down. We'll come up into our warrior one. Keep the left hand going, reaching back and towards the back or outside of the right hip. Reach the right fingertips up. We'll exhale, spin the back heel up, right hand plants. Left fingertips reach up to the sky. Take a breath to pause in your momentum. Left hand comes down. You'll slide the left foot back into your down dog. Nice big round of breath. At the bottom of your exhale, bring your knees down to the mat. We'll inhale into our cow. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, you'll pull yourself forward for your plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, the right heel to the sky. Exhale to bring the right knee to the right wrist. Set the chin down. Back leg comes down. You're gonna roll to the right hip. Kick your feet forward or maneuver them forward. Have your feet in front of you and grab one of your blocks. <clears throat> Come to a seated position. Small breath. Come to a seated position. You're gonna reach your block forward. Press your hands into the block to fire up the back of the shoulders. We're going to roll the spine down super slowly. If you need to bend your knees to make it a little easier or just slowly roll down. If this uh, is irritating to your back at all, you can totally just lie back down. Go ahead and bring the block to right in front of you when you get down here. <clears throat> and then check in with your mind and notice just where your starting position would be. So you can start with one leg. You can also start down here as your starting position, but down here with your legs resting, it'll be the hardest position. So we're essentially going to start off here, <clears throat> wherever here is for you. 
I'm going to start off here since I'm also talking and we're going to inhale to rock on the pelvis, reaching the feet towards the block and we'll bring the block or the feet back towards the starting position. We'll move the block back. Starting position with our legs, we'll rock the feet forward, reaching towards the block. Legs come back to starting position. We'll reach the block back a little further. We'll reach the feet towards the block and bring the feet back down to the starting position. Last one, block reaches towards the ground behind us. Come to your starting position with your legs. You'll rock the feet back towards the block and go ahead and lower your legs all the way down to the earth. Allow yourself to soften and release all of the engagement and take a breath. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and grab a hold of your block Reach the block up towards the sky, press into the block. Knees come up into the belly. Go ahead and take the small rocks that we were doing earlier. Still pressing into the block. You can take as many rocks as you want. Go ahead and come into a seated position. Go ahead and set your block down and you can make your way into down dog. Nice big round of breath. Good. When you're ready, we'll continue to build. We'll inhale the right heel to the sky. Exhale to step the right foot forward for your little lunge. You'll spin the back heel down. We'll open up to our warrior one. You've read this book before. Right fingertips reach back and down to the left. Left fingertips reach up. Good. We'll exhale, bring the left hand down to the earth. You'll plant it, right fingertips reach up. You'll heel toe the right foot back, roll into the pinky toe edge of that left foot. Take a moment to pause here in between. Take a breath. Right fingertips come down. You'll step back into a plank and exhale back to down dog. Take a nice big round of breath. Left heel reaches up towards the sky. You'll exhale to step the left foot forward for your low lunge. You'll spin the back heel down. We'll open up to our warrior one. Left fingertips reach back and down into the right. Right fingertips reach up. Right hand comes down. We'll spin the back heel up. We'll come into our simple twist and then we'll start to heel toe that left foot back. Rolling onto the pinky toe edge of the right foot, we'll pause, breathe. Left fingertips come down, you'll step the left foot back into a down dog plank, and then down dog, take a nice big round of breath. At the bottom of that, exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. Inhale, and knees out. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, you'll pull yourself forward to your plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, the left heel to the sky. Exhale, bring the left knee towards the left wrist. Set the whole shin down, back leg comes down. You'll roll into the left side of the hip. Kick the feet forward, coming into a seated position with your legs in front of you. <clears throat> we'll do the same lowering, so if you had enough of it earlier, feel free to just come down. This time, we're going to pull the block apart. We're going to roll the spine down as slow as or as fast as you want to, using momentum to help you. Pull the block apart. <clears throat> Find your starting position with your legs, wherever that may be. Maybe it's different this time. Maybe it's a little closer or a little further, depending on how much uh, challenge you want for today. Inhale, we'll rock the feet towards the block. We'll reach the block back. We'll inhale to reach the block, feet back towards the block. We'll lower the block. Feet come back to starting position. We'll do it two more times, rocking and finding that little bit of lift maybe with the pelvis. Block comes all the way down behind us. We'll rock the feet towards back to it. We'll lower our feet all the way down. 
and take a moment to just release, to breathe, to enjoy feeling a little playful. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and grab your block above your head. Reach the block towards the sky, pull the block apart. Knees come into your chest, start rocking along the spine. Take as many rocks as you want and come up into a seated position. Block comes down and you can meet me in down dog. Shirt adjust pose. Hands come down, tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back. We'll inhale the right heel to the sky. We'll exhale, step the right foot forward for your low lunge. We'll spin the back heel down. We'll open up to our warrior one. Right fingertips reach back and down and to the left. Left fingertips reach up. Left hand comes down. Back heel lifts. We'll inhale, reach the right fingertips up. Heel toe, that right foot back. Rolling onto the pinky toe side of the left foot. Keep it walking this time and come down into a plank. Feel free to stack your feet if you like it. Take a moment to pause. The right hand comes down. We'll come into our plank and exhale back to down dog. Nice big round of reset breath. Go ahead and inhale the left heel to the sky. We'll exhale to step it forward for our low lunge. Back heel comes down. We'll open up to our warrior one. Left fingertips reach back and down and to the right. Right fingertips reach up. We'll bring the right hand down and plant it. Left fingertips reach up. We'll heel toe that left foot back and down. Right foot rolls to the pinky toe edge of that right foot. Pause in our side plank, take a breath. Left hand comes down, we'll come into our plank and exhale back to down dog. Nice big round of reset breath here. At the bottom of your exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. Inhale into your cow. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, pull yourself forward into your plank. Or all the way down. Keep your hands underneath of your shoulders if that's where they normally land or wherever it feels sustainable. Inhale up to your cobra. Exhale to drop the right shoulder in and look over the left as you lower yourself down to the earth. We'll inhale as we lift back up. Exhale as we drop the left shoulder in and look over to the right. We'll inhale as we come back up to center. Exhale and imagine as if you could slowly lower yourself down just a little bit further than when you, where you picked off from. You're gonna lower yourself down, press down into the earth, and press yourself back to your table. Pause here. We're gonna take an inhale with the left fingertips up to the sky. Exhale to reach the left fingertips forward or over towards the right. We'll inhale to reach them back up. Exhale to reach. We're gonna move one more time, inhaling the left fingertips up. We'll pause for the exhale. We'll inhale to reach the right fingertips back uh, over towards the right and send the breath into the left shoulder. Bring the left shoulder down, left temple down. Maybe the right fingertips reach up towards the top of the mat. Take a nice breath. Right fingertips come back underneath of your shoulder. We'll press down, bring the left hand back underneath your left shoulder. Right fingertips reach up to the sky. Exhale, we'll thread. We'll inhale and reach and exhale and thread. We'll inhale, take a full breath here. Inhale, reach the right fingertips through. Right shoulder comes down, left temple, right temple comes down. Walk the left fingertips forward if that feels nice for you. Take a breath. Left hand comes down, right hand comes down. Coming back into our table. Go ahead and pick 
your feet over to the side and you can be lying on your back. Take a moment to appreciate and find some gratitude for the lack of momentum and for moments of stillness. Noticing what each one means to us and that this feeling that we have towards either stillness or momentum is an attachment. As we know, life moves, it flows, it's ever-changing. And so sometimes it's hard to find the appreciation for stillness. When you're ready, go ahead and bring your knees towards your chest and pull them in. You'll be rocking side to side if that feels nice. Go ahead and bring the knees over towards the right. Reach the left fingertips over towards the left. Take a moment to just notice how this twist differs from the earlier twist. Is there a difference? Do you feel a difference in your mind space? Quiet or loud are your thoughts in this moment. And bring the knees back up into center. We'll exhale to drop the knees over to the left. Great fingertips reach towards the right. allow yourself to recheck in almost like an invitation to turn the attention in to notice when things get stirred up go ahead and bring the knees back in towards the chest take an inhale and lift the head and the shoulders away from the mat on your exhale, let it audibly spill out of your mouth. Allow your limbs to grow out nice and long. And take any last minute movements that would feel nice before coming down into your Shavasana. Feel free to set yourself up with props. Set yourself up with some bolster, uh, a bolster under the knees. And I encourage you to Shavasana in whatever form it may take. So even if it doesn't feel like it's a lying down Shavasana day, take a moment to just allow yourself to be in stillness. And by stillness, that doesn't mean you can't fidget. You can't move, you can't adjust. Stillness just means I'm mostly still. noticing the attachments you have to momentum and to stillness. Allow yourself to feel them, the attachments. And allow yourself to feel the things that you
are the things that you call in for attention in your body at the beginning of this practice? Are they still calling out for your attention?